A potential major job maker could be coming to Jacksonville's west side. News for Jax has learned that a permit has been filed to build a second Amazon distribution center near Cecilfield. Sheriff Force Scott Johnson has been talking to city leaders trying to get details about this. Scott. Well, Tarek, first we learned on this map of Jacksonville up here by the airport that over the summer they would put in a facility that would bring 1,500 jobs to Jacksonville. That was a big deal because 1,200 jobs may be coming out to the west side near Cecil Field after we learned a permit has been filed for an Amazon facility out there. Been trying to get some details on that throughout the day. The problem is as I go downtown here to... Uh, to City Hall, essentially I met with a lot of no comment. People at City Hall don't really want to talk about this right now. If you drive far west out on 103rd Street, you find not far from Cecil Commerce Center, a huge swath of land is being cleared. I spoke with the superintendent of the construction site who couldn't tell me what the land is being cleared for. I also contacted City Hall about reports of a 1,200 job distribution center being put here. I spoke to numerous city leaders who had heard some information about the Amazon plans, but no one who could go on the record. I also spoke with the Jacksonville Chamber of Commerce, who told me can't comment on a project like that. Rick Mullaney is head of the Jacksonville University Public Policy Institute and spent 20 years working for the city. He's not surprised by this. Economic development is competitive, and you're usually competing with other locations, sometimes other states, uh, other places uh, even within the state and so for companies they require a quiet time a period in which they can negotiate have out other bids and if the information gets out so too soon sometimes it could jeopardize the deal while city leaders may not be talking we talked with people who are excited over the news it's wonderful it's why do you say that because i like to see more business in jacksonville Anytime you're bringing in employment to help people ain't nothing bad about that at all that's all good stuff we don't know whether this project is the same or different as something the mayor's office announced in September called Project Velo, a project that was estimated to bring around 1,200 jobs that would pay an average $50,000 a year. The city councilman in the district, Doyle Carter, tells me he has no comment, which doesn't surprise Mullaney. It's clearly important to the councilman from that district, and it's very important to the mayor. You want to be the ones that brings jobs to Jacksonville. And so there is state law that allows local government to maintain confidentiality on deals like these. I also reached out to Seattle-based Amazon. So far, they have not received, I have not received a response. Back to you.